Hi guys, welcome back to my channel at home with Kayla. So today I'm actually going to be trading in some books and stuff like that at our local bookstore. So they take books, they take um, DVDs, I think even some toys and games and stuff like that. So normally they will give you either store credit or they'll give you cash. You can choose. But in my personal experience, anytime I bought or brought anything here, um, um, they always give you a lot more store credit than they do cash. So I'll normally take the store credit. So I'm going to look for these little chapter books for Axel. I'm also going to look for some records for Chloe. So hopefully they give me a good bit for my trade in stuff. I'm going to show you guys kind of what I'm trading in and then we're going to head in here, see how much we get and I'll show you around the store. So it's called McKay's and we have one here in Tennessee. So I'm at the Chattanooga one, but I believe they have a Nashville location and also a Knoxville location. So if you happen to be in Tennessee and you like books and, <laughs> and music and all of that good stuff, you could definitely check it out. So a little bit different of a video today, but I hope that you enjoy it. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. And if you enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up as well as hit that red subscribe button below and the notification bell so you don't miss any new ones. But let's go ahead and head in here and I'm gonna show you around. Alright guys, so this is what I'm going to take in today to see if I can get some store credit. So I have this little toy slash book thing. Some of my books, but mostly the books for the kids. And I still have tons of books at home. This is just some of the really old ones of Chloe's and then a few that Axel was not into anymore. Some books I read, some I didn't um, that I decided to bring in. But over here, we've got some of those little tiny books for babies and everything. And then also some of the Dolly Imagination Library books that they read over the years. And then, of course, we have tons at home that are favorites. I also, I'm bringing this little Blu-ray. It's not open. Some DVDs that obviously are open. And then I am bringing a Christmas story to here because we watched it. We were not into it. Not a fan. I don't know. That's some people's favorite Christmas movie, but we just did not care for it. So I'm sorry if that's your favorite Christmas movie, <laughs> but we just, I don't know. We're just not into it. So let's go ahead and see if we can get some store credit for this stuff. So I think they're redoing the outside of the building right now because there's no sign that says the name, but here it is. So inside they have these little bins and you just put all your stuff in the bin. So I have about three bins worth of stuff here. So piled it all in there. I just finished at the little um, check-in spot and they gave me this little number. So when my number pops up on the screen, I can see how much credit I'm gonna get for my order. So I'm number 31, so we will see how long it takes. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and walk around. I think I'm gonna start upstairs. So look at the view, you guys. We're upstairs at the top level and there are tons and tons and tons of books. But I'm going to start off by looking at some of these records. It says new arrivals right here. So we're going to see if there's anything good that Chloe would be looking for, of course. So check this out. This one, it still has the wrapper on it. And it's Dolly. Um, what is that? Is that Kenny Rogers? <laughs> Anyways, Once Upon a Christmas. We love Christmas. So I'm going to think about that one. I may get it. There's Adele. Now always check your prices at, you know, Amazon or local stores because some of these prices, they, you know, may be cheaper. They may be more. But I'm really mostly looking for some that are really cheap. And if I can find some good ones... I'll definitely be happy about that, but if I can find Taylor Swift for Chloe, she would be really happy because that's what she asked me to look for. So, the great country hits of the 70s. I mean, I don't only listen to country music, but I'd probably listen to some of that. It said Dolly Parton on it, so maybe have some good ones. Oh my goodness. So, my mom, she had this like Garth Brooks cassette tape, I remember. And she would probably be into this if she had a record player. <laughs> Let's see what songs are on here. Oh my gosh. That is so funny. It brings back memories. My mom went to a Garth Brooks concert one time. 
and then she brought me home a Garth Brooks t-shirt so she said that he was like flying across and all of this and she said the show was like really entertaining there's Madonna Ed Sheeran which I don't know if $40 is a good price for Ed Sheeran or not and Olivia Newton-John, so she recently passed away, but if someone was a really big fan of hers, this would be a really cool album to pick up. And it's pretty cheap, surprisingly. But, yeah, I'm gonna keep going through these new arrivals, and then, oh, there's the monkeys, my mom. She's listening to them like, hey, hey, it's the monkeys. <laughs> Anyways, so, yeah. Okay, so... I'm looking through soundtracks because I thought maybe, you know, Chloe loves plays and movies and I came across Annie and Chloe, she was in the play Annie last year or the musical Annie last year at our school. So even though this is kind of rough condition here, maybe it would be good. I think that she would like it and it's kind of cool to have. So I think I'm going to grab this one. So I've been up here looking around maybe 10-15 minutes, maybe longer, but I see that my number's up on the screen, so we're going to see how much credit we're going to get. So far, I have not found the Taylor Swift vinyl, though, so. Okay, guys, so check it out. I got the trade credit of $47.66. If I had taken the cash, they were only going to give me like $13, so I'm taking the store credit. Also, I don't know if you noticed on the little ticket there, apparently there's also a McKay's in North Carolina, so if you're in North Carolina. But I wanted to show you a few other things they have over here. So apparently they take Barbies. I have some of those holiday Barbies, but I don't think that I'm going to be taking those anytime soon. I have them in a tote somewhere that I had from when I was little, but they take lots of different stuff. They didn't used to take all of this, so that is quite a bit of stuff that they're taking in the Funko Pops. I was looking through these trying to see if I saw any that I thought would be like fun or you know something that the kids would really like but I wasn't seeing any of our like favorite favorite characters and I may have missed some but they definitely have a ton of different ones. I saw some of the characters from the Brady Bunch that was funny. I saw some from um, oh my gosh, my mind's going blank. What is it? Riverdale. Yeah, I saw some of the Riverdale characters. Just tons and tons of Funko Pop characters. So if you're into those, this would definitely be a cool place to look at to see what they have with a little cheaper price. So next, we're going to head over here. Of course, there's tons and tons of books and so many sections. There's some of those for Game of Thrones. So if you read those books, but I'm going to head over here to the kids section first. They have some toys and games over here. I'm not going to get into all that today. I'm going to try to stay focused on what I came in for. They have some of these little cards and like brain quests. Those are pretty cool for learning and everything. So make it one of those one day. They were like $5 each. Some may be cheaper, but lots of flashcards and different things like that as well and they even have books for teachers or homeschooling any of that stuff so tons and tons of stuff to choose from over here um this used to be the section i would go to the most with the kids of course but now they're getting a little bigger they have lots of books that you know are like 95 cents they have different sections depending on you know if you're looking for disney books or they also have, let me see, where is it at? Oh, look where the wild things are. <laughs> but they also have, yeah, a Dr. Seuss section. So check that out. Lots of Dr. Seuss books, Disney books, and tons of other ones as well, just depending on what you're looking for. Now, I always like to look in the Usborne book section because I actually used to sell Usborne books for a little while. And they have really good books, uh, but they're a little more pricey. So anytime I'm in here, I look at these just to see if there's some that would be really good to pick up. And it's a very small section here, but every so often they have some good ones. So I like to look at them just to see. Oh, Axel has this one right here, the Bad Seed, and then he has some other ones that are like that. So next, we are over here on the early chapter books. 
Um, I'm looking for those Magic Tree House books and it only took me a second to find them and I did not realize how many of these there are. So he has a set that was like one through four that I got super cheap off of Amazon last year I think it was but I want to get him the next few so okay so guys I was looking through these and I want to get him at least book like five through ten they're three dollars each that's not too terrible for these and right now he and I are on book number three or four I think so we're gonna have these for when we get done with those and I think he'll enjoy that night of the ninjas so if you're looking for like young adult or teen or it says middle school over here but they've got harry potter books they've got hardy boy books um they've got what was it goosebumps i mean just tons of different ones they also have a religious section that has like Bibles and different books. And I've seen that Action Bible on Amazon. I thought about getting something like that for the kids. But the price here and the price on Amazon is similar. But you can see there's so many different sections. I mean, there's health biography, um, just so many things. Pretty much like a huge library, I guess you could say. I mean, because there's just so many things depending on the topic that you are looking for. They have it labeled pretty well. It used to be harder to find things in here, but now I feel like it's a little easier because there's so many different categories listed and you're not kind of like walking around aimlessly not knowing <laughs> where to look for stuff at. But one thing I would like to look at is uh, maybe to see if they have any books on Instant Pot recipes. So look at this, baking and desserts. Hmm. I don't know we'll see if i can find anything good so i kept seeing a lot of crock pot recipe books but check this out it says it's for a pressure cooker and this book is only a dollar fifty so i'm gonna grab it so again tons and tons of little like toys and characters and stuff like that so if you live in this area and you need to get rid of some little toys like this that your kids have this could be a good option if you don't want to fool with doing like a yard sale or something like that so Axel, if he was with me at the store right now, he would be going for some action figures. He loves it when he can come in here and <laughs> grab action figures. Figures, he used to only grab the books, but once he realized they started getting all this other stuff, he wanted some of it too. And they got tons of like Ninja Turtles. They got all kinds of stuff. So way more selection than they used to have for sure. But wrestlers, <laughs> if you're into wrestling, I mean, just a ton of stuff. I was walking over here to see if they had more Funko Pops. I thought I saw some on this side, but not a ton. Maybe just a few more over here. So, I don't know. There's so much to look at. I wish I could show you everything in the store, but that would probably be a very, very long video. So, <laughs> we're going to just glance around. And there was tons of CDs upstairs by the vinyls. So you guys, I am waiting on the cashier right now because I asked him if they had any Taylor Swift vinyls and he actually ended up finding this one for me. So I'm really excited about that. He was super nice and helpful. So I'm definitely gonna pick that up for Chloe. Okay, so I just came out of McKay's and I feel pretty good about what I got. So I ended up using all of my trade credit that they gave me. So they said that they didn't take everything. So there were some items that they were not going to accept. Honestly, you guys, I'm really bad about holding on to a bunch of stuff that I don't need or I need to get rid of. Um, so I'm pretty sure because they have a bin outside that is like free items. So I think the things that they don't take, they just dump into the free bin. So they asked if I wanted the things back that they didn't take. And I didn't even look at what they didn't take because I didn't want to be tempted to keep something. So I said, no, that's okay. So hopefully somebody will get something like that for free. And maybe it's something they need or want and then I got that trade credit I was able to pay for almost my whole purchase with the trade credit um, so the first purchase they gave me two dollars back so my total was like 40 something had two dollars left then I asked him if they had any Taylor Swift vinyls because you know that's what Chloe wanted when I came in here well he looked up on the computer and it told him that there was the red album and also the evermore album so um on vinyl 
so I was like, okay, and I asked him, I was like, well, where would those be? Because I had looked, and I didn't see any. I went upstairs, and they also had, like, the little spin thing downstairs. Didn't see it. Well, so he was like, well, let me look, because they had some vinyls behind the counter there, and he said the red one was, like, $40, so that it would probably be back there, because it's more expensive, but he looked, and he didn't see it anywhere, and then he looked around the corner, I guess, for things that had just recently come in, and the Evermore one was actually behind there, so it was back there had not even been put out on the floor yet and it was a $24 which is similar to the store price but because I had that $2 store credit it would still make it you know around the same amount for me a little cheaper so I went ahead and got it while I was here so at least I can go home and tell her yes I got you the Evermore album so I got one of the Taylor Swift albums for her plus I got Annie so I obviously left with a very little compared to what I brought in but I mean, junk sitting around the house, like not really junk, but you know, just sitting around the house and nobody is using those anymore. Might as well get something that we're going to enjoy. I got a record for my husband, uh, one for all of us, some books for Axel. So even though it's a very small haul today, I'm going to take you guys home and show you what I got. And then I'll show you the kids reaction to what they got one thing, once they get out of school. So I was gonna do a picture of the sign on my way in, but the angle was just not right. So there it is, McKay's Buy, Sell, Trade, Books, Music, Movies, and Games. So guys, I just got back from the bookstore and I wanted to show you this because if you watched my video um, showing me decorating for fall and shopping for fall and all of that, um, I didn't have scarecrows on the hay bales before, but I found these two adorable scarecrows over at CVS and look how cute they are and I feel like they match so well with the pumpkins that I picked. So there is that. So I'm about to go in and eat this chick-fil-a that i just got i dropped some off for my husband because he is so busy today he hardly ever takes a lunch break at work so i took him some food so hopefully he will have a second to eat some lunch but that's how the porch looks oh my gosh i think they're so cute so i just had to show you that little update and i'll show you my back porch too because i decided to decorate the back porch as well so i'm going to show you guys what i did with that all right y'all so here is right here by my back door i decided to do like fall in the front and spooky in the back so got my spooky sign i got that over at tj maxx i just got to put two double a batteries in it i think and then it'll light up and then here is the stuff so the mat is from sam's club it says hey boo and then all of this stuff right here is from walmart so every bit of it all from walmart didn't cost me too much i got come in my pretties and then this little guy right here he lights up and got a little scarecrow it's just a bunch of hocus pocus all of that so that's what it looks like over here there's aurora <laughs> Um, but I thought it looked cute. Just a little something for the back door. That's like our little back porch area right here. Um, Chloe's got her bicycle right here right now. That is not a real bug right there. Axel has these fake bugs that he puts out. And then we're working on our flower bed over here, making it look nicer. So, um, it's a work in progress, but we've been like pulling weeds and stuff. My husband did a lot the other day in that. So, anyways, just thought I would show you guys that little update. I just got Chloe from school and we're waiting on Axel right now so I figured that I would show her what I got her from McKay's today. So I'm going to go ahead and show her but you got to close your eyes. <laughs> and what ones did you say that like you hoped I could find? Um, well I forgot to send you a list. She was supposed to send me a list but yeah, she I forgot. I, I went to sleep. Um, but there, can I? Well, can yeah. I, um, I like, I like um, Taylor Swift. Mm -hmm. I like Panic at the Disco. Um, I sound so like, basic right now. <laughs> I, want to say. I like Lizzo. Um, what was one of the other ones I said? Um, who else did you just say? Uh, Olivia, Rodrigo. Olivia Rodrigo. Olivia um, Rodrigo. Mainly like Taylor Swift and Panic at the Disco though. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't. I can't really think of any more. Okay. Well, let me show you what I got. You want me to sew with this one? Uh, yeah. You can close your eyes for just a second. Okay, so 
first. I got Annie. <laughs> Annie. <laughs> because, uh, you, you know. Okay, it go. looks like very rough, but I thought that you might like it because what Annie you written on it? Annie. I know <laughs> apparently the person that had it wrote Annie on it. In case you didn't know, it was Annie. Maybe it belonged to a kid. But um, anyways, look, it has, it has the the all the songs, the main songs, and uh -huh. it also has inside it has like pictures from the. <laughs> like, oh, does it? from Annie, oh. you know, like the old, you know, one. So uh -huh. anyways, oh, I thought that was kind of funny. <laughs> so there's <laughs> Annie and Sandy. <laughs> there's a little thing on the back. Oh my gosh. But so, yeah, so I, I found that. I, I, didn't know I, I was looking out. in soundtracks because I was trying to see if there oh, was yeah? um, anything good in there. So... Thank you. I'm like, Hopefully we good. You know, we could sing around the house to that. <laughs> um, okay, and then I, I got another one that so is I'm kind of well. for all of us. Oh, I, so, I think I know what it is. Um, I'm just, by basing off what you just said, I think I know. Can you help me put this one out? <laughs> Thank you. Can I take a guess um, while you're getting it? Yeah. Something I could be that wrong. We may all enjoy, including me. Just um, me. Just me. Yeah. Max will probably. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm gonna take a guess that it may be Encanto or Encanto, just because I know that for a little while, uh, like we just watched that oh, movie. Oh, that so that would have been. Oh, uh, it's not. No, um, they didn't have that, but it would have been a good one. Oh. Uh, Honestly, I would have liked to find mm, like I'm not Mariah Carey Christmas, oh, but nice. they didn't have that. So I got this. <laughs> what is it? It's um. I is think, that that um? I think that's Kenny Rogers and Dolly Parton. I know uh, it's Dolly Parton, but yeah. it says Once Upon a Christmas, and it's like brand new, um, but still in the package. Grandma got, you know. Right I don't right think right that's, that. that's. I know, but that's what that picture. Oh, that's what I'm <laughs> Because it just, it is Oh yeah, it does. Okay, saying? so there's that. And um, I just figured since we love Christmas, it has a few uh -huh. Christmas classics, so maybe it'll be good. I don't yeah, know. Just it's, like it. I believe in Santa Claus, Winter Wonderland, Sleigh Ride, Christmas Without You, The Christmas Song, A Christmas to Remember, With Bells On, Silent Night, The Greatest Gift of All, White Christmas, and Once Upon a Christmas. I don't really know many of those songs. It's uh, like Silent Night. Anyways, but. I tried to find something Christmassy, and that's about all I could find. But anyway, so, um, then, okay, close your eyes. <laughs> okay, last but not least. Taylor Swift. <laughs> this is the only Taylor Swift they had. It's the only one? Um, I'm surprised they went They said more. they had red, but they couldn't find it anywhere. And that's the one I wanted to get you the most, but the guy looked all over the place and he couldn't find it. And when I looked, I never saw it. And then this one was not even put what? out yet. They still had it in the back. They, and then, and just, then he was what? like, "Oh, well, he was like, I found this one." And I was like, "Oh, I want to see it." So, I, anyways, <laughs> I, I don't really know many songs from Evermore. I was about I was to say there. I don't know many of the songs from this one either, but I normally like her songs, so I feel like I like it. <laughs> but don't mind me. so I got, I got that one. <laughs> Thank you. I was just happy Sorry. I got a Taylor Swift so I didn't come home disappointing. <laughs> it's okay. Um, but so I'm going to show them the other uh, stuff that yeah. I got besides the axles. Um, so they already saw, but I got myself this um, <laughs> over 120 quick and already pressure cooker recipes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in case you know, um, it was only a dollar fifty, and the tag on it from I guess Bob, originally at the store Bobby it was twenty four ninety five, and then somebody tried to sell it for six dollars, and I guess that didn't happen, so I got it for dollar fifty. So um, there's that, and then I got <laughs> I got this one. Oh, oops. Okay. So I got this one just because I thought for $1.45, but why not? It is the great country hits of the 70s. The 70s? That's <laughs> and, a while ago. <laughs> yeah, apparently it has many different um, singers on there. So we'll see if that's any good. And then I got this one. Um, I got this one for my husband because he does like some old country music. And I think that he will enjoy this. This is Hank, that's so country. Hank Williams. A junior greatest hits. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. It feels very thin. Okay, the record is in there. I, like, I hope it's in there. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I got that for him, so I'm sure that he will enjoy that. 
Um, the only record we have right now that my husband bought was Ozzy Osbourne. So he obviously likes many different types of music. Anyway, the like rest three. is for <laughs> Axel. So we'll see what Axel thinks when he gets in the car. Okay. So Axel, we just got home from getting him from school. We had to stop and get him a haircut. But Axel, you can come over here now. So I'm gonna show you what I got for you at the bookstore today. So you know how we been uh, reading those magic treehouse books? You found some. Yes. So we have like four of them. Look, I got number five, number six, number seven, eight, nine, and ten. You want to know what they're called? So this one's called Ninja Fight. You're close. Night of the Ninjas. Night of the Ninjas. Then we've got Afternoon on the Amazon. Amazon. Oh, there's a crocodile on that one. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, uh, and, and the cold winter. Yeah, the, the sunset the, of the saber tooth. Saber tooth. Mary Poppins. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. Mary Poppins. Mary Pope Osborne, I think. Right um, and then Midnight on the Moon. Midnight on the Moon. Yep. Uh, dolphins at Daybreak. Uh, dolphins at daybreak and cowboys at sunset. <laughs> You're close. Uh, ghost town at sunset. Ghost town, ghost sundown. town at sundown. Yeah. Oh, at sundown. Oh, sorry. I ghost was saying what sundown. I heard him say. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's cool. So hey. when we read the ones um, hey. that we have, then we can start idea. on these. We can read the cowboy one tomorrow. Today. Well, we got to read them in order. Read them in order. They're, they're numbered, so we got to make sure oh. we read the ones we already have. Oh, yeah. yeah. But anyways, do you like those? Yeah. Hold on, there's frogs sticking their heads out of the water. <laughs> he sees some frogs, so he's going to oh, run off here, now. Wait, wait. Oh, they went back into the water. Oh. I was going to say, bring the fun. <laughs> well, that's right. it, and I think they liked it. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, that is all that we got today. I feel pretty happy with my purchases. So let me know in the comments below if you have local stores like that that you like to go to, whether it's a little bookstore or music shop where you can just look around and see what there is, maybe trade in some old things of yours and get something new. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you haven't yet. And don't forget that I just posted a recent video of some easy fall Instapot meals, so you could definitely check that out. As well as some other videos I'll have linked below for you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys!